Phil, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hi, hi. One, two, three. Hello. Hello, Diego, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, yeah. Okay, good, thank you. How are you? Hey, good, good, I'm fine. I've been speaking with David for a long time and he can't hear me. So I thought yeah. it was me. Mm -hmm. So how are you, Diego? Uh, I'm cool, and you? But Diego, where are you? In your house? Are you working? Uh, in my house. Okay. Do you have a camera? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. There's Rodrigo. Hello, Rodrigo. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rodrigo? Fine. Do you have a camera? No, I don't have. Okay. So Diego, Diego, you don't have a camera? David, hi. David, connect. So I have three people, one with camera who can't hear me and two people who I can't see. Okay, uh, Rosa Maria, are you there? Class, I need to know who is going to participate today, really. Please tell me. If you don't want to participate, it's okay, no problem. I will not talk to you. But I am talking to four people and nobody's speaking with me. Good night. Good evening. Sorry. Hi. Thank you, Rosa Maria. Uh, I can listen in very well because... Uh, I don't know, but I okay. can't listen anymore. No, thank you, thank you. But you know, it's a problem. I'm talking for five minutes. I've been talking to myself. Nobody answers me. 
people just connect and they just put, I don't know, background music. They, they put me background. Maybe they're chatting, they're eating, they're watching TV. I don't know. So I need to know who's going to participate. David, he can't hear me. He, he He's the only one with camera, but he can't hear me. So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to put people with cameras on, okay? Uh, Rosa Maria, do you have cameras? Yes, yes. Can you put it on, please? Give me a second. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa Maria. You will. Rodrigo, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm okay. here. Okay, Rodrigo, I have a problem because- Can you I, hear me? Yes, I can hear you, thank you. Rodrigo, I have a problem. I don't know if you want to participate or not. Because I talk, you see, I, I just see your name. Okay, it's fine. You don't have a camera. That's no problem. But I need to know if you want to participate. Yes, teacher, I want to because participate. Because I talk, you don't talk. I ask questions. Five minutes, I've been talking to five people and nobody answers. So I don't, you see, this is the problem with when people have cameras. I don't know if you only connect and you, you're you not paying attention Maybe you're chatting, maybe you're driving, maybe you're working, maybe you're eating dinner. I don't know. But that's why I asked five times, who is going to participate? Look, here's Rodrigo Antonio, who never participates. And the problem is I see a lot of people connected. And everybody says, yes, 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 they participate, but they never do. That's not a, that you, you're not going to learn English like that, just listening. So what happens after people say, no, nah, I'm not aprendiendo nada. Nah, and then they don't participate, man. So I don't know, Lisette, I have not seen you. Lisette, I know you always have a bad connection. Are you there? You see, this is the problem. When I talk yes, to people, teacher, I am here. Okay, but how do I know you're there, Lisa? How do I know? ¿Cómo, vaya, okay, lo que no, lo que no tienen cámara, está bien. ¿Cómo se supone que yo sé que ustedes están allí? Porque a pesar de que no tienen cámara, no hablan. Solo, solo ayúdenme aquí, porque si no, lo vuelvo y repito. Si no quieren participar, está bien. Si solo, si solo me dicen, teacher, yo solo quiero ir. Ok, it's your problem. Pero no sé por qué se conectan si no participan. Y no, y, y no responden preguntas, no hablan. ¿Ven? Es lo que digo, nadie responde. So I'm only going to participate right now with people with camera. Porque está bien, aunque no tengan cámara, pero participen. Un día creo que Ana, Ana Claudia no tenía cámara, pero... Ah, eh, mí. Creo que, no, no, pero creo que un día, o oh, no sé quién era, pero estaba bien activa siempre. No, I don't remember. No, no, I don't remember who, but somebody didn't have a camera one day, but you were always talking, 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 talking. Entonces mm -hmm. mi pregunta es, Rodrigo o Lisette, Rodrigo Antonio, Rodrigo Daniel, ¿por qué no hablan? ¿Qué es lo que están haciendo? Teacher, in my case, you have I, that internet. I have a problem with myself. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, now I understand. You, I, I, I am listening to the Android. What about you, Rodrigo Daniel? I have a problem con, with my cell phone and okay. it, I have. Uh, bad connection. Oh, okay. Okay. I lost, okay. I lost signal. 
eh, en cada, a cada momento pierdo señal. Ok. ¿En you, Rodrigo, Daniel? Hello, Rodrigo, Daniel. You see, that's the problem. I don't, I, Claudia, bueno, Claudia is always in class. I know that. Rodrigo, Daniel, are you there? Yes. Okay, And can, the microphone was. Okay, can you tell me why don't you participate? Sometimes when I participate in other times, mm -hmm. well, um, you say that no use the people with camera. So I say, okay, I wish no, the I just wait. Yeah, but no, no, I don't say I'm only going to participate with people with camera. No, sometimes to... on one day you say that. So I no, say, what, okay. but, but what I said, yeah, but why don't you tell me, teacher, I don't have a camera, but I want to participate because I told the class, if you don't have a camera, it's okay, but please talk, participate. I know that you're in class. So I didn't say exactly, okay, if you don't have a camera, I'm not going to participate. I said, I'm going to participate with people with camera and people who are talking. Yes, and I was talking and when you, I start to talk when you say that and okay. and you name other classmates. So I just take the microphone off. Okay, so you decided not to talk then? Not you, so you decided no, not to I was No, I was talking, but you don't pay me attention. So I, okay. Just turn off okay. the microphone. So, so then you decided then, may, I, I don't know why I didn't pay attention. I apologize. But just because of that, you won't participate then in that day. No, some, sometimes I participate, but. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, Thank, you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, okay, okay, no problem. What about you, Jose Jovito? Are you there? Yes, I do. Where are you? In your house? Are you working? And my work, and I mm, so so sick. You are sick, and you are in your work right now. Yes, I responsibility. Uh, my work is very important. My work in check for the system electric for a uh, UT. For what? Unidad de transacciones. Okay. But I am responsibility. No, it's I am responsible. I am responsible. Okay. No, I am responsible, not responsible. I am responsible. Yes. Yeah, you can't say okay. I am responsibility. Remember, responsibility okay. is a noun, but I am responsible is an adjective. Like I am responsible. I am. I am the boss, I am the supervisor, I am, I am, I am. Every time you say I am, you have a description. Okay. Okay. Class, I have a question. Can you open? Oh, okay. There we go. I couldn't open it. David Samuel, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Now we can hear you. Now he has. The first five minutes I was talking to you, I was David, David. Yes, I, I, I don't know what is happening by the, the internet is a uh, rounding and rounding and never connect but now it's okay oh, okay you know maybe that happens when it rains yes it's raining in the afternoon but now no i don't know maybe some problem hey what happened with that with does anybody have that other internet the one that um from elon musk, elon musk. What, what is the name mm -hmm. of that internet i don't remember the name no, but I didn't try. I suppose it works in areas, open areas like. Um, but it's working now. Interlink, in interlink, something like that is. I don't remember. Yes, now it's one it, of the providers in El Salvador. As as oh, as oh really? I didn't know. That. Soundlink. Soundlink, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's active now in El Salvador. What if I remember the. Yeah. Oh, okay. But people must uh, purchase like uh, equipment for one-time mm -hmm. equipment. I don't know if that was the uh, expensive payment, like around. If I don't remember, a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Wow. No, five hundred. 
or wow. three hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't remember. And then the um, the um, the this monthly payment it was cheaper, but I don't know. I don't know what someone or any of my friends they have that service. So I I don't know how it works. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. I, I haven't met somebody right now that has that service. Mm -hmm. I want to know how it is. What about you, Rosemary Perez? How are you? Well, but um, today I'm a little bit tired because uh, the last week I was studying for the exam of the university. So I consider that I have been studying very hard. And what do you study? I have been in the University of El Salvador, language. Languages. I study languages. Yeah, languages. Yes. Um, when you study languages, do you study only English or French too? French. Two, two languages. Study? Yes. So you can speak French. Yes, I consider that it, for me it's very a little bit easy French. Uh, right. that's English. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. So how how do you say my name is in French? Yeah. It's Jean Mappel. Jean Mappel Rosmaria. Oui, Jean Mappel Rosmaria. Oh. So do yeah. you do you consider yourself what intermediate, advanced in French? I consider it, yes. Very good. You're going to have very good opportunities in the call center world. Yes, I think that for me, I consider that a, to, can, to speak different language is very important when you, when you want to find a new work or job. Yes. I think in El Salvador, of, of course, number one is English. Then the second most demanding language is um, French. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. If you, in fact, if it, I think, I think if you're a French speaker, for example, there are some tell us there are some positions that they start paying, like one thousand two hundred dollars. Um, for trilinguals. So Spanish, uh, English, and French. In my case, always a, how do you say, le digo, ah? I say them. I, I um, tell people. I tell people that for me is a, is difficult English, is more difficult English than French. Because French this year is um, that I learn, mm -hmm. and I consider that I can a little bit more that that in French than English. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Cool. Class, do you know what is the difference? Be because she says I say or I tell. Do you know what is the difference between say and tell? Say, I think, is uh, like uh, personal. Well, when when I I I, I don't know how to explain. Uh, first person, I think, is say. And the third person is tell. I don't know. I think. Mm. You have the idea. Okay. Do you know the difference, Anna or David, between say and tell? No, teacher, and I want to know. <laughs> no. I don't know. For me, it's, no, what is the same is talk and speak, right? There is no mm. difference. Yes, there is a difference. Mm, but they say that is the same because I was supposed that speak is when you, for example, speak another language. 
but I heard a lot of people saying that at the end they are using the same way. So I imagine that tell and so say. Do people ask you, hey, can you talk English or can you speak English? People, most of the time, uh, they use speak. They have to use speak. <laughs> but I, I heard one gringo saying that the use is the same. I don't know why. No, you see, that's the problem. That's the problem because gringos that don't study grammar, they just say it naturally. Mm. Remember, I think it was with you, class. I was teaching you the difference between I'm going to and I will. Yes, I remember the difference. Yeah, okay, so it's like in Spanish. Eh, si yo fuera un gringo, es que la diferencia de yo voy a ir y yo iré. Ah, lo mismo. But, <laughs> yeah, we say it because it's basically the same, but sometimes the difference is important. Sometimes the difference is big. Okay, so listen, the difference between say and tell. I'm going to give you a very easy explanation, but I need you to understand. Okay, say, you say something. Do you understand? Yeah. For example, imagine, look at me. Look. Ah, sure. I said something, correct? To who? What? To yourself. <laughs> to nobody. To nobody. To nobody. I just said something. Hmm. Now, tell. You tell something to Salmon. You tell something to someone. You replicate something. Okay, now let me give an example. Say it's indirect. Okay. Como uh, like, ay Dios mío, que dije? I said, oh my God. Mm -hmm. I said it in general. Nobody in the specific, correct? But now, if I tell you directly, it's different because, Maria, my name is David. I'm sorry, Cla Anna Claudia, my name is David. I told you my name. So when you mm -hmm. say tell, it's like what Jose Saias was saying. You need a, mm -hmm. you need a, come on, like the A, A, B. <laughs> mm, okay, an action. You need a sender. You There's a sender and a receiver. And a receiver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. For example, when the president. Yes. I have a question, but yes. uh, there is any, uh, some case that we can, we can use to, to bear. I don't know. Give me, give me an example. Um, I don't know. Um, I say my mom that I that I am hungry. Okay. And I can say uh, I tell my mom that I am hungry. No, in this case, is I told my mom that I am hungry. Because there's a sender, I, and your mom, B. So, A de la A a la B, A to B. So, there's a direct message. Don't complicate, class. I mean, it's, tell is when it's direct. You, Rosemary, you were talking to your mother. Mother, I am hungry. Correct? Yes. So, it's just tell. You tell something to someone. Okay. 
and say you say something. And there is a difference because in pocas palabras, say es para quien quiera oír. Say is indirect, it's not direct. When the president speaks, the next day people say, hey, what did the president say? Let me give you a perfect example, uh, Rosemary. Have you seen Titanic? Have you seen the movie Titanic? Yes, I see. Yes, I have seen. Yes, I have seen Titanic. Okay. Do you remember when Jack was in in the in the Titanic no. in the corner? And he said, yes, I am. What, what did he say? I am the king of the I world. The king of the world. Exactly. He said, I am the king of the world. ¿A quién se lo dijo? Nobody. Rosa María, do you understand? Yes. ¿A quién le dijo eso, Jack? Nobody. Okay, so say. Entonces, pregunta, what did he say? He said, I am the king of the world. So we you uh, say uh, nor is uh, nor is specific to other people. Okay, it's listen. In, in okay. General. Now yes, now I want you to pay attention. Listen to the simple definition. You say something. ¿Qué dije? ¿Tú dices algo? Exactly. You tell something to someone. So tell es más como contar. O decir. So, but I used look. Say is you say something. Note que no hay nadie a quien se lo digo. I just say something. Tell is you tell something to someone. I get it. Okay. Um, usually, when you want to practice say and tell, you can practice, for example, in in politics. Remember, remember, Sanchez said in. What did he say? What did he say? Okay, now there's many stories about Sanchez said in. What did he say in the? in the beatification of Monsignor Romero, you remember? No, I don't remember. He said, he said, uh, Monsignor Enriquez, Hernandez, or something. I know that. Uh, <laughs> Romero, <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> he said. Okay, so, so that's the difference between say and tell. It's, it's very simple. It's just direct and indirect. Okay, es como si alguien un día les pregunta, eh, ¿qué es la diferencia de decir y contar? ¿Qué es la diferencia de decirme y contarme? Oh. Contame a colores. Con yeah. detalle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Ana Claudia, when somebody says, no, it's the same thing, really it's not. Por ejemplo, speak and talk. Yeah. Speak is ability. Mm -hmm. That is the way how I knew it, but that I heard that gringo and I said, mm, is that a new so ne Okay, next time attack that gringo and say, okay, if it's the same, then why do people say, do you, uh, can you speak English and not can you talk okay. English? 
I used to like that. Hey, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now that you were explaining, say and tell, I just uh, recalling this uh, song, Say You Say Me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> An uh, old song. You know, now people... makes sense the video of that song because Say You Say Me. So he was saying by himself and she yeah. was saying on herself. Yeah, he was asking her, Di tu y di yo. Tú y yo. Uh -huh. yeah. People, we thought, you know, so I, I thought a long time ago that he wanted to, to say something to her. Yes, in fact, it is. But that mm -hmm. he, he was telling something to her, but exactly. not, it's totally different. He was telling her to say you and me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Very good. Now you understand. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Now I understand the video <laughs> and why <laughs> she is, they use a blind woman. Yes, now I understand. <laughs> that's why that's why people always ask me, teacher, por qué say you is say me? No debería decir, say tell, <laughs> tell me and and and, and tell uh -huh. you. And, and that's when you... It's funny, like, cannot make sense. At it doesn't, beginning. it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And that's when you have to know the difference between say and tell. Mm -hmm. you know, and you know, yeah. sometimes, sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the difference is important. There, you know, like uh, I, I did, I did explain to you. Remember going to and will, correct? I guess I don't remember, did you? <laughs> but I guess yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know if it goes in this verse. Hmm? And going okay, to hold, is. Um... Hold on, Rosemary. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. You remember. So listen. Let, let's let's have a test here. David Samuel, what is the correct way? I'm going to eat chicken tomorrow or I will eat chicken tomorrow? I'm going to eat chicken tomorrow? Yeah, I will. No, it's not correct. Uh, I see in a, uh, I will eat chicken. I think going is for uh, something that you are doing in the uh, a short period of time. I think something like that. Okay. In this case, David, the two are correct. There's no problem. David, hoy si le pregunta su hijo, tiene hijos. <laughs> yes, but my 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 uh, there I have two girls, but they are. Uh, uh, 31 and 42. Oh, do you have grandchildren? <laughs> do you have grandchildren? Uh, no. no. Okay, but imagine imagine you have a young boy. Un niño I young. have many students. Okay, imagine a student, a, a young student. Le dice, David, ¿por qué se dice yo voy a comer y yo comeré? What explanation would you give your student? Because if there are two different ways of saying it, there's a reason. That you know, so Anna Claudia, like you said, if people say speak and talk, if there's two ways of saying it, mm -hmm. there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. And it's grammar. I think it is the the possibility of the <laughs> remember you have to give a teacher explanation because your student depends on you. I have a homework. Profe, me, en lenguaje me preguntaron qué es comeré y voy a comer. Y uno da la explicación con vaya, mira, yo voy a comer es como vaya, mañana yo voy a comer. Y yo comeré es como el sábado yo comeré. Then they start giving some explanations like that. Y, ¿Entendés? Y el pobre niño dice, yes. But no, he didn't understand. <laughs> so, ok, so listen David, in this case I asked you. What is the correct way? I'm going to eat or I will eat. The two are correct. The two are future. Now, the grammatical explanation for I'm going to and I will is this. Number one, you have to understand one thing. Sometimes the difference is not important. But sometimes the difference is important. So, for example, David, like I told you, tomorrow I will eat chicken and I'm going to eat chicken. The difference is not important. When you say I will, 
you are compromising. Se están comprometiendo. No sé qué tan fuerte quieren tomar eso. Se están dando su palabra, están haciendo una promesa. Se están comprometiendo. I will. Por eso es cuando alguien dice, Hey, who wants to go with me this weekend to the movies? I will. Or when someone got married, they say, I exactly. will. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's, I'm going to. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. I will. Acuérdense que también will viene de voluntad. Mm -hmm. So if you say I will, you're compromising. When you say I'm going to, is you're making a plan. Mm, okay. So let me give you an example. That's why when a person, when a man asks a woman, or a woman asks a man, or today, a man to a man, or a woman to a woman, you know, with the generation today, <laughs> <laughs> they would say, will you marry me? ¿Alguna vez oído que alguien diga, are you going to marry me? No, it's always, will you marry me? There's when the difference is important, because the answer is, yes, I will. O sea, que prácticamente will es cuando hay un compromiso. Puede que el compromiso sea algo serio o no, pero está comprometido. Hay gente que es de palabra. For example, David, Samuel, imagine you have a quinceañera on Sunday. Yes? It's your family. It's your quinceañera, it's your family. And I tell you, hey, David, uh, the class, we're going to the beach Sunday. You want to go? You say no, right? I can't. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, uh... Okay, listen, listen to my scenario. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So Sunday, you have a very important, may, I mean, because it's your family, so maybe it's important for you. There's a quinceañera. <laughs> it's the second time I heard that quinceañera. We say quince años. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, oh quince años. Quince okay. años. <laughs> Let's say it in English. There's a sweet 16 party. Aha, uh -huh, 16. <laughs> so Sunday, there's a sweet 16 party in your family, David. Yes, but Sunday, the class, the English class, we're going to meet and we're going to go to the beach. Ah, okay. So imagine I ask you, hey, David, are you going to go to the beach with us? Are you going yeah, to? Yeah. Yes, no, I have the, 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 the previous uh, compromise. Okay, good. So in this case, in this case, you can say... No, because Sunday I will I will have a party. I will have a compromise. Or Sunday I will go to my family's sweet 16. But when I say will, soy un poco más fuerte el compromiso. Yes. Now maybe, maybe, I don't know, something happens and the party doesn't happen. O sea, pero el compromiso está, la palabra suya está, you know, this is will. Y eso es lo mismo, lo mismo en español. Esa es la diferencia de yo iré y yo voy a comer. El hará, eré es el will. El will hace el verbo hará, eré. So, I will eat, yo comeré. I will go, yo iré. Yes. Yes. Cuando sus hijos le dicen, mami, no se te olvide que hoy es la reunión. Don't worry, I will be there. That, that's the difference but like I said sometimes like I said the difference is it I mean suppose that I'm going to be there there's no problem but it just depends for how important it is to you or how important your compromise is 
Y recuerden que will es voluntar, voluntario. Ustedes voluntariamente se han comprometido. When you say I will. Yes. I need help. I need to paint my house this weekend. Who can help me? I will. Maybe plans change, but you're compromising. I will. So that is the difference. Do you understand, Jose? Yes, teacher. All right. So one more time. What is the difference between speak and talk? Speak is an ability. And talk, you talk to so, like every day. So what is an ability for speak? Can you give me an example? A language. A language. A language. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Speak fast. Speak slow. Mm -hmm. Ability. Mm -hmm. So I have yes. a question. Sure. Uh, when we use uh, the, the future will, mm -hmm. is only the verb in the base form? Yes. Ah, okay. It's the subject, oh. will, and the verb. For example, I will go, he will go, she will go, and the complement. We, we can use uh, the the particle, or I don't know, is the correct? The to, to eat, to go, to dance, no. No, only only depending on the verb. For example, we will go to the concert. Oh, but with, or, or infinity is uh, only okay. going to. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, you can't say we will to go. Is that your question? We will to eat? That's not correct. Yes. It's, it's, it's the subject, the auxiliary, and the verb. I will and the verb. You will and the verb. He, she, we will rock you. We, ah, vaya. Porque ahí dicen we will rock you. Y no dicen we're going to rock you. They have them volunteer. <laughs> No, se están comprometiendo que los van a rockear mm -hmm. en el concierto. Uh -huh. We will rock uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. mm. yes. That's right. All right, so. Um, esa es la diferencia. Eh, fíjense que cuando yo aprendí la diferencia de speak y talk, me di cuenta que con can, every time you say can, it's an ability. So, for example, listen to this. Can you swim? Can you dance? Can you cook? Swim, dance, cook are abilities. And listen to this. You don't study for abilities. You learn abilities. Correct? That's why I tell people, when you take English classes, you don't study English. You learn English. Because you're learning to speak a language. But many people prefer to study English. Many per people prefer only to listen. I don't know why they think that only listening is it's okay. Many people prefer to take notes. That is studying. You do that with mathematics. You do that with history. But when it's English, por eso, nunca alguien preguntado, hey, can you mathematics? No. So what do you think is the difference between see, look, and watch? Watch, I think that we use when uh, watching something in a specific object. Mm -hmm. Let me let me give you a tip, I think I'm in TOEFL. When you want to explain something, try to explain like you're a teacher. 
So this is what I do. Imagine a little boy or a little girl is asking you, teacher, what is the difference between see, look, and watch? Maybe you know the difference, but there's an ability to explain. And that's when you practice your English. Because normally people say this, okay, uh, see, look, and watch. Okay, look, look at me. Hey, do you see that? And did you watch the movie? And some people, for some people, that is the explanation. And the poor little kids, like, uh, huh? Mm -hmm. but, but the explanation was correct. Hey, look at me, watch a movie and see. But the kid wants to know why there are three different ways with, with C. Look is direct uh, with detail. Look and act. It's like um, yeah. Look with is to capture all those little details. It's like studying what you are <laughs> looking. <laughs> Watch is like <laughs> yeah. No, it's very I'm not good. A good teacher. No, no, no. But very good. But you see, that's why that's why I always tell people, I recommend you. Very good. But remember, always try to explain like you're a teacher. Mm. Because that's when you use your ability. And now, Claudia, see or no, you're thinking English. <laughs> you're actually mm -hmm. thinking in English. Okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So look. Okay. Wait. Watch. <laughs> now, listen to this. What 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 is the problem with with um Stevie Wonder? He's blind. So he, he doesn't see. He doesn't see. Yeah, because to see is the verb or the ability. I don't know if it's ability. Uh, yeah, exactly, ability. <laughs> ability. Exactly. So Stevie you Wonder. Mm -hmm. So Stevie Wonder can't see. Can't see. Okay. So he can't see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is see? Really? What is see is an ability. Ability. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Some people say that dogs can't see in color. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and that's really not, that's really not, that's only a theory. You know, that really people are not sure. So Stevie Wonder can't see. See is mm -hmm. an ability. Okay. Now, in this case, I see, I have glasses. But I have mm -hmm. a problem because I can't see very good from a close distance. But from a far distance, I can. Mm -hmm. So it's very strange. If I'm going to see a far distance, I take off my glasses. But if I'm going to be in a close distance, I put on my glasses. I think it's myopia. I, I don't know. I forget what it's called. It's funny, you know, people. Some, <laughs> yeah, sometimes people look at me. Hypermetopia. Yeah. Ah. What is it? Hypermetopia. When Hyper you can see in a far distance, but not. In a close. So close. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you know, it's funny, it happens. I think I was with my wife. I don't know, one Sunday we we're in Metro Centro and we saw a subway. And my wife told me, Mira, hay subway. ¿Cuál es el del día? I was, wait, wait. So I had to take off my glasses to see from the distance. Pollo teriyaki. And you know, people were looking at me strange, like. What are you doing? You took off your glasses to see from a distance. So that is that is C, it's an ability. For example, um, like I told you, can you excuse me one second, please? Hold on. Sure. Go ahead.
Puta, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué susto me diste? ¿Se dormiste? No, todavía no. ¿Puedes apagar el agua, por favor? No, que ahorita voy. Ok, estoy. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, now we okay. can hear you. Okay, good. So once again, C is an ability. In this class, we all can see, but maybe some have a better ability than others. Mm -hmm. But for example, uh, Stevie Wonder or Jose Feliciano or Andrea Bocelli, they definitely can't see. No. That is why people say, hey, can you see me? Can you mm -hmm. see me? Okay, so what is look and what is watch? When you go to a museum, do you watch the painting or do you look at the painting? Look at the painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Rosa Maria? What do you think? Is you watch the painting or you look at the painting? You watch. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to give you the explanation. Listen. Okay, C is ability, correct? Mm -hmm. Look is no action and watch is an action. Look, no action, and yes. watch is it's an action. action. So you look at things that don't move and you watch things that move. Okay. So when you, you go to a... a yeah, you're watching a game. You're watching an action. But if you go to a museum and you're looking at, at a Picasso, you're looking. You go, wow. You know. Imagine to go to the Salvador Dali Museum. Wow. You look at all that. Yes. So ahora, la parte de observar, that's depending on you because you can observe by looking. Like, for example, if I go to, do you know Caravaggio? I, he's my favorite painter. Oh, man, I would go crazy looking at his paintings for five hours, maybe. Yeah. But remember, the paintings don't move. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference. Basically, is see is an ability, look is no action, watch is an action. Ahora, but how come people say, hey, did you see the movie Batman? It's acceptable, but grammatically, it's not correct. And Tofel me lo bate and see this. Okay. Pero el, el popular English, le van a decir, hey, did you, did you see Batman? Oh, yeah, I saw Batman. But it's actually, is did you watch Batman? Did you watch it, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when people say I'm watching TV, really it's not correct. It's I'm watching a TV show. Mm -hmm. Or I'm watching a movie. A movie, yes. Because mm -hmm. the TV is not moving. <laughs> you know, the show. <laughs> I look at the TV. Exactly. Just... <laughs> You're looking at a TV. Uh-huh. Is turned off, and I'm just looking at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. For example, <laughs> imagine I had you know, I had a very beautiful TV, it was 68 inches. Mm -hmm. And every time, every time people walk into my house, they always they look at the TV and look at it. Yeah, it's uh -huh. like, wow, it's nice. You know, so mm -hmm. And one day, a big, stupid thunder came blah, and boom, it made a line on my TV. Is that true? Yes, it happened to me. Oh, I thought it was a scenario you were you were creating. <laughs> no, no, it was true. So a big, a big um pixel line in the middle. Mm -hmm. I was so angry. But anyways, that TV every time it was off. You know, when people visited me, they always look at the TV and everybody, wow, what a beautiful TV. Mm -hmm. Now I have a normal fifty-five, a fifty-five, I think. But you know, pero extraño, my old TV. All right, so that, that is the difference. So listen. You know, one thing I tell my classes is, 
yes, it's the same, but there's always a if if it's the same, but why are there two ways of saying it? There's a reason. Mm -hmm. Hoy creo que ustedes ya van a saber la diferencia de que es ver, mirar y observar. Mm -hmm. Porque imagínense a alguien les pregunta en español, eh, profe, fíjese, oh, hermana o oh, mamá, tía. En la escuela, ¿qué es la diferencia de ver y mirar? Y nosotros realmente nunca sabemos porque simplemente por naturaleza lo decimos. Ya sabemos cómo es. Pero si analizan por qué se dicen dos formas. Entonces ver sería sí. Mirar sería look. Okay, do you see the uh, do you see my page here in this corporative final exam? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So listen what it says here: review of speaking and writing sections, instructions. This final exam reviews the last two sections of TOEFL Course One. This review will help you have a clearer idea of, of all the information needed in order for you to get a good score on the TOEFL test. So, what does fluency refer to? Were you, oh, you know, I keep in my note, it's, it's going to ask me for one specific answer, but what is fluency? Jose Isaías. I think it's a ability to speak fast. Okay. For example. Jose Isaías, voy a decir algo y usted dígalo en inglés, ok? El gran Bob. The big Bob. Compró un gran bate de béisbol. Bob, a big baseball bat. Ok. Entonces hoy día... El gran Bob compró un gran bate de béisbol. The big Bob bought a big baseball bat. Yes, very good. Big Bob bought a big baseball bat. <laughs> that was good fluency. But usually it's difficult, but sometimes people say big Bob bought a big baseball bat. Maybe your pronunciation yeah. is good, but your fluency is still a little slow. So flu fluency is how the pace you speak with and how clear you are. Okay. Yes. Have you heard Chinese people speak English? Oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's terrible. All those in Indios. De la India. Eh, cuando hablan inglés, they speak terribly. Porque en sí, ellos en su idioma nativo hablan rápido. Entonces, cuando quieren hablar inglés, lo hablan a ese mismo paso, with the fluency. But you know, how about I'm Excuse me, wait. <laughs> you know, so they have good fluency, but they're not very clear. So fluency is your pace, how fast and clear you speak, okay? Tomorrow is Wednesday. This is, because this is the last part. This is all we have left. After this, nothing. So tomorrow, we're really going to practice this, okay? okay. It's very, because this is about the complete four weeks, you know, and we'll have more practices, okay? Okay. So thank you very much. Ok, Rodrigo Antonio. <laughs> ok, Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez. Yes, me dijo. Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Good Goodbye. Night. Have a great night. Good night. Bye.